Welcome back to Fan of Flame Dates. Brad and Kate Aldrich are back with us and they're going to share with us about the 10 Day Challenge. Hello, we are Brad and Kate with the One Flesh Marriage and we are back with the 10 reasons that the 10 Day Challenge could change your marriage. So you might be asking, what is the 10 Day Challenge? The 10 Day Challenge is something we came up with for our blog to challenge our readers. Um, it is a 10 Day Sex Challenge and we challenge readers uh, to have sex consecutively for 10 days. And that came about in our blog and in our lives because uh, when we were going through some transition times in our marriage, I heard a pastor talking about that he had challenged his congregation to have sex for 30 days in a row. And it was in one of those times that a godly woman was encouraging me to make sex a priority and I thought, oh my word, I'm not sure if I can do this, but I'm like, I'm willing to try if our marriage is worth it. So um, I think it was for our anniversary. Like mm -hmm. that's what I gave him as our gift. Good and gift. He thought, oh, yeah, yeah. He thought that was pretty good. And um, so we embarked on this journey and we did not make it the whole 30 days. We made it almost, but there were challenges. But um, we walked out of that saying, this has merit because it really forces you to think about if it is going to be a part of your daily schedule you have to carve out time, you have to make it a priority, and you have to think about what's going to be set aside sometime so that you have that time. So that's kind of how it was born, and we decided not to go with 30 days, maybe maybe just 10, and um, that's how the 10 day challenge was born. And so we're going to share with you. About 10 days after, maybe 30 days after starting our blog, we decided, okay, we're going to go ahead and challenge all the readers to this 10-day challenge. And we've done it annually ever since, and it's one of the most popular things on our blog um, to go through. And so we wanted to share with you what are some of the reasons that, that we think you should try the 10-day challenge and how that could really change your marriage. Number 10 is it will grow your sexual intimacy. You know, if you make something, anything a priority, it's going to grow you and stretch you. It's going to challenge you. And so making it a priori priority for 10 days is going to grow that level of intimacy in that area of your life because God's designed us, especially in marriage, to have levels of different intimacies. And so making sexual intimacy a priority for 10 days is going to grow it. Number nine, spend time together. You think this is almost automatic, but how many times do you actually carve out a good chunk of time every day to be together, just simply being together? And having the 10-day challenge reprioritizes that. It puts you back in a place where you have to make time every day to find time just the two of you. And that's a huge benefit in your marriage. Number eight, this will force you to think outside of your sexual box. Sex wasn't created to be the same thing every time. God has designed it. Um, it's the one thing in your marriage that is for just the two of you and doesn't go outside of marriage. And so the reality is you're going to have to be creative that for 10 days it's not going to be the same thing every single time or you're going to find quickly, as we did in the 30-day challenge, that you're going to be challenged mm -hmm. because um, it's kind of like eating the same breakfast for 30 days, eventually you're gonna get bored. And so it just, you gotta think outside the box. Number seven, admit it, you wanna prove that you can do it. Every couple loves a challenge, and this is a great one. Or at least every husband does. Well, okay, but <laughs> it's a great challenge, and I think it's something that you can brag about in, in your marriage. Um, and it, sometimes a challenge is exactly what you need to ignite a spark under you. and. Uh, It'll be something fun, um, so it's worth just trying. And you can like have a plaque or a button or something that says, I completed the 10-day <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's not provided by us, but, you know. Number six, finding pleasure beyond I'm too tired. The reality is when, um, you know, it, as, as years go on and as, as we get older, it's so easy to just be like, I'm too tired tonight for both of us. Um, and this will stretch you beyond that because it's not an option. Uh, you have to think about, okay, before I get to spend time doing other things, we need to find time for one another. Um, you also might find that you may get to a point where you actually are tired, that you get in five days in or six days in and you are just too tired, but you have to move past that wall and you have to figure out, okay, how are we gonna do this? And 
one night, maybe one of you is too tired the other night, you know, so you just work together. It's just really good because the reality is there are many times that we just use the I'm too tired as an excuse and we could be trying to make that person's need a priority. Mm -hmm. Number five, create a new normal. Every couple has a normal amount of sex that they have and maybe yours is once a month or once a week or three times a week but the 10-day challenge is a great way to change what normal was and almost every couple we've talked to that has tried it come out saying they had no idea that they could actually do it and now they recognize that it is possible to maybe instead of being once a week be a three time a week couple and just enjoying that time together so the 10 day challenge does a great job of just establishing a new normal for you number four grow your one flesh connection god has revealed to us over the years that one flesh that scripture in ephesians is about so much more than just sex um, there are many levels of intimacy but we talk a lot about emotional spiritual intellectual and physical and the reality is giving um, this kind of priority to, to sex really does grow the other areas too. Uh, we found even with ourselves that when we spent time making sex a priority, then we spent more time talking emotionally, doing things that intellectually we enjoyed. We just spent more time together. Um, and so I think that you will find that making a priority for sex, you will find your whole one flesh connection is growing and changing and becoming more like what God designed it to be. Number three, it's lots and lots of fun. Hey, it's a great chance just to connect with your spouse, just to find a new time to connect with them and have a lot of fun together. Um, you get to laugh, enjoy, um, and it'll be something you'll remember. So it's definitely worth it just to have fun together. Number two, explore each other. I think that I love this one because, I know that I love this one because in the mundane of life, we just get stuck in patterns. And I think that God designed sex constantly through the different waves of life, through children, through teenagers, through whatever you have going on, through empty nest or whatever, to, for us to be able to explore each other, to grow with each other, and to keep connecting with each other. But it's not always going to look the same. You know, sex when you first were married and sex when you have kids, and it, it's just going to change and it's going to mm -hmm. be different. And so it's a new time to explore each other and to reconnect and to find out what the two of you enjoy uh, where sex is concerned. And the final one, intimacy let loose. There is certainly a truth in connection where sexual intimacy in your marriage is connected to your intimacy with God. And I know a lot of people uh, almost feel like that's a controversial thing, but um, as you start connecting with your spouse and really raising the bar on sexual intimacy, the closeness that you get um, with your Heavenly Father uh, comes right along with it. And we've certainly found times where uh, we feel so much more connected emotionally, physically, and spiritually uh, at the same time through doing this challenge. And so it's a really exciting t way to um, grow not only your physical intimacy, your sexual intimacy, but that spiritual intimacy that so many couples are longing for. So you might be watching this and thinking, wow, that'd be great. I'd love to do the 10-day challenge, but you don't have a clue on how to get your spouse on board. Uh, we've been there. We've we've certainly heard that story, and I think we've lived that out at times. And so we wrote um, some articles that might help you. Um, I did an article specifically for you husbands to uh, choose your own adventure to the 10-day challenge and looking at your relationship where you are today and thinking about how you can get your wife on board with this challenge. And I shared with the wives 10 reasons how you can get your husbands involved if your husband, you think, may not be sure or whatnot, um, just 10 things to think about and, and ways to communicate with him about uh, being a part of the 10 day challenge. So I hope you'll check out those articles. The links will be at the end of the video. Um, and we want to hear from you. We want to hear your comments. What are you thinking? Is the 10 day challenge something you've tried? Is it something you're on board with? Um, where are you feeling like this could grow your marriage? Uh, and where's your spouse? So let us know in the comments too. We'd love to hear from you. So are you ready for the challenge? 
We got some great need and he knows and knows questions that are going to help you and your spouse talk about this and see some different ways that you might be ready to start uh, to grow this area of your marriage. So we'll look forward to seeing you again next time.